Um, so today, I'm not going to share like my life story of how God has led me here to this place because I feel like that would take the entire service. Um, but if you want to talk about that, I'd love to talk about that too. Um, but I felt called instead to share about what God has been teaching me in the mundane, like just in the everyday. Um, so a couple weeks ago, I was in my kitchen and I was thinking, I just need to get a glass of water. Um, I'll be right back doing my thing. But then I see the dishwasher and it's begging to be emptied. And that reminds me, I should probably do some bill prep. And then I'm like, oh, I need like Pyrex dishes. So I gotta clean my Pyrex cabinet. And before I know it, I'm like a whirlwind tour of my apartment, like just doing random tasks. And, and I forget why I even came into my kitchen in the first place. Um, and I feel like in that moment, the Lord was like showing me like, this is, this is how my life has been these past couple weeks, just coming to school. I've just been going through the motions of just everything mindlessly. And, um, I, I was getting so caught up in the daily grind of classes, work, just appointments, even like church events. <laughs> Um, and I forgot to pause to ask God how he wants to work in my life. And I forgot to consult the God who set my path and ask him how he wants to use me in each moment and situation. And I forgot to see him in the mundane, in the everyday. Um, and God keeps reminding me of this verse in Psalm 46.10. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. It's also very ironic, <laughs> as I was on my phone, like, looking up that verse, I got distracted by all my text messages and apps. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> yup. Um, and, but this verse reminds me of how important it is to be still and acknowledge God. Um, whether that's in classes, walking around, walking to classes, um, it's just cooking, cleaning, working. Um, every single moment is an opportunity to abide in his presence and to be still and know. Um, and these small acts of faith in the mundane of life has allowed me to listen to God's voice and glorify him more. Um, in this journey, I've learned that a relationship with God isn't something that's a once a week pray session at church or reading the Bible every once in a while or praying sometimes. Um, a relationship with God is, is so much more. It's it's like other relationships in life. It takes time, it takes effort, it takes intention, but it's a deep and personal connection. Um, God has already chosen to love us, but it's our choice to accept and be with him. And we need him every day and every hour and every second. Um, we need to seek him like we seek water. Not every Bible study, prayer, devotion, etc., has felt transformational in my walk with God, um, but it's, it's like meals. I heard somebody compare it to like, not every meal is like memorable, but each is nourishing. Um, but I think that the most difficult time has been to seek God is at my lowest points. Um, but choosing to pour my heart out to him in these situations um, has just been more comforting than any other thing I could have consoled myself with. Um, and he reminds me in 2 Corinthians 12, 9, my grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in weakness. His strength is shown when I humbly give my weaknesses to him. In this, he refines me like gold in a fire, and it hurts, but growth is the result. But being attentive to his voice in the mundane of every day can uh, look like noticing a person who needs help, um, being thankful to the bus driver, or just thinking of a scripture verse like on your way to classes. Um, and I know that I fall short of the glory of God every day. Um, and I often find myself falling back into the vicious trap of going through the motions. Um, but I pray that I may be more moldable clay in the hands of the potter. Um, and I pray that he opens my eyes to see the things around me the way that he does. Um, whether it's praising him, imploring him, and listening to him in the mundane, in every day of life is the key to walking in his presence. It's not always easy or natural to stay focused on the Lord either. Intentionality is difficult, but with constant practice grounding myself in this beautiful faith community of NLCF, um, I've been able to live out my faith journey with others and see the beauty of community. Um, 
God has shown me that in every moment, even in the presence, um, even in the presence of dull or unimportant moments, um, we can spend in His presence and abide in Him. Um, so when I choose to live my life uh, in abiding in Him and seeking Him in every moment, um, He lights my path. He shows me the way. And the dishes may pile up and the to-do list may become a novel, uh, but I'd rather uh, remember the main task of why I'm here than get distracted in the infinite distractions of life. So this is my snapshot. Yay!